memory challenge update. Last episode I spoke about converting numbers into images because it's easier to remember images. But I didn't I quite explain how I do this. And I use something called the major system. And it's all about converting a number into a sound. Not a letter, but a sound. And to explain this, I'll take you through all the steps of doing this and explain how it's done. So basically you take the zero and you make it the sound S. No matter what the spelling, if it's an S or if it's a soft C or if it's Z, doesn't really matter. You just need to remember the sound S. The one kind of looks like a T and the T kind of sounds like a D. So it's going to be a T. -t. The number two, if you flip it on the side, it's going to be an N almost. So it's going to be the sound N. Same thing with the three. It's going to be a very close to an M if you flip it. The four. The last sound, the four, is going to be an R, so it's going to be R. The five on top of the five as a roof of the five, you have an L. So the five is going to be an L. The six is going to be a SH sound, no matter what the spelling there as well. The seven is going to be a K or a G, so it's K. -k. The eight is going to be an F or a V, F, V. And the nine is going to be a P or a B, P, P. So to give you an example of how it works, the uh, take the number zero one for example. It's going to be the zero is going to be z, and the one is going to be a t or a d. And for example, we could uh, just choose to take a t. So we have the s t. All other letters that are not in the major system, so a, i, e, u, all those letters you can use however you want to, because you will not confuse these letters or sounds with the numbers because they're not in the major system. So in this example we can use the U and an I. So it's going to be S U T. So the zero 01 is going to be a suit. And this means needs to be automatic. You cannot think about these sounds because that will take too long. The major system is only helpful to assist you if you cannot figure out what the number is. So when you see the uh, zero 01, your brain needs to go suit automatically. And if you're not able to do this, you can just, okay, what is this again? The zero is going to be s and this is t s t s suit. But it takes too long. You don't have that much time either if uh, the event is fast or if it's long. You, uh, you still need to convert very quickly in your head. So use the major system to create an image for everything between 00, zero and a 99. Nine. And then you start really studying these images to really get to learn them. So when you see the 01, you don't think st, you see a suit in front of you. And that's what I'm doing now. And you can also do the three digit major systems where everything from 000 to 999 is one image, but then you have to really brand 1000 images in your brain. You can also change a couple of things if you think that the 99 is easier to remember as Wayne Gretzky. It can be Wayne Gretzky. As I said, the major system is only an aid to help memorize the, the, all the images for the numbers. You can use whatever you want to. But that's what I'm doing now. I'm building the speed to convert these numbers into images as fast as possible because I'm going to need it in the memorizing of 1000 years in 60 minutes. So that's basically what I'm doing now, the major system in the conversion. So up to tomorrow again, I hope. See you then.